a little scary. I said, I've never been in a tornado. I've never seen one. Well, all this underpinning blowed out this side. For Rick uh, Holden, it was anything but a normal day the around the house. People that said, do you think it was a tornado? I said, in my opinion, I said, that's probably about as close to a tornado that you can, if it wasn't one, that's about as close as you can get. Some of it's in his yard, some of it's down the street and the neighbors. Rick says he got into his truck to leave the mobile home park, the the and that's park. when it hit. The rain and the wind both hit just exactly at the same time. Uh, debris started flying at the same time as just like somebody hit a light switch and, and turned the storm on. Debris was flying all around. Uh, in my opinion, we and it was at that point morning, uh, Rick was sure he was in a tornado, a and it tornado was nerve-wracking. No, about the closest I've come to that uh, that type of wind and stuff was probably a couple years ago when we had the wind storm here in town, uh, and I thought that was bad, but I said that didn't hold a candle to what we went through last night. It, it, it was pretty bad. At least it cleared the top of your trailer. Daryl Bohannon heard the warnings of potential bad weather early in the day. We knew there was going to be some bad weather come through, and I only live a mile mile from here, and I called Mom and told her to pack her bag and, you know, get out of the trailer park. It's all broken up. His mother, Kathy, says damage is not so bad, but feels for those with worse damage than hers. I just wanted to cry. Everybody's torn apart. It's kind of looked like a war zone. A war zone, right where Rick Holden calls home. Sick in my stomach. Yeah, I said it, it's uh, the worst thing I've ever been through. I but said, one, they're glad they survived. It, it was pretty nerve-wracking. Roger Dunaway, Wave 3 News.